Let's balance the equation for this combustion reaction. We have C6H12O2 plus O2, oxygen gas. So to do this, let's count all of the atoms up. And here's where people have problems. They count the carbons and hydrogens correctly, but you have to be careful. You have two oxygens here and two here. So you should get four oxygen atoms. In the products, you have two oxygens here and one in the water. So you end up with three. So make sure you count those correctly. Let's balance the carbons first. That's a good place to start. Always leave the oxygen to last. Because if you change the coefficient here on the oxygen at the end, it won't change the number of carbons or hydrogens. So six in front of the CO2, one times six, that equals six, then we need to update the oxygens. Six times two is 12, plus that one oxygen in water, 13. Let's fix the hydrogens, see what happens. Put a six here in front of the H2O. Two times six, that gives us 12. Those are balanced. And again, we need to update the oxygen atoms. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 6 times the 1, that gives us 6, so we have 18. That's nice, we have an even number here, and we should be able to figure this out. Here's a good way to think about it. We have two oxygens here, plus some number. That's going to equal 18. 2 plus 16, that would equal 18. So all we really need to do is put an 8 here as our coefficient. We have our 2 here. 2 times 8, that's 16, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see why it's helpful to leave the oxygen until last. If you're asked the type of reaction here, this would be a combustion reaction. We have this hydrocarbon here plus oxygen, and we get carbon dioxide plus water. So the type of reaction would be organic combustion. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C6H12O2 plus O2. Thanks for watching.